Hey hello guys hope you have been having a lovely day and in this video we are going to look at what logic gates are and the basic logic gates available to us. So you might be wondering what a logic gate is. It is nothing but a function that performs operation on multiple inputs be it one, two or even more and gives a specific output. And mind it that logic gates are the basic building blocks of every electronic device that you have right now. So yes, they are more common than you think. The basic logic gates available to us are AND, OR and NOT logic gates. Now we are going to write the outputs of these signals into something called truth tables. And this would be really easy if you can think of the truth tables that you did in school in maths exams. So a digital signal can consist of 1 and 0. So when a signal 1 and 0 passes through the gate, what is the output of AND, OR and NOT? For this example, I am assuming two signals A and B. You can also assume a third signal C or any number of signals that you want to give as input. Here I have inputs as A and B. So I am going to list down all the combinations of A and B which I am giving as input to our AND and OR gates. So that would be four different combinations 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. To explain the AND and OR gates to you, I would like you to think of a pizza. If you and your friend, both of you pitched in with your money and did a 50-50 Dutch, only then would you be able to order a pizza. But the pizza would be finished if either of you would start consuming it. So an AND gate will be true or 1 or high when both the inputs are true or 1 or high. In all the other cases, it will be false. If you think of a third input, all the inputs only when they are 1 or high, only then the output of the AND gate will be high. Conversely, for the OR gate, if either of the two inputs is 1 or high or positive, then the output of the OR gate will be 1. Even if you add multiple inputs, it means even if one of all the inputs is high or 1 or positive, then the output of the OR gate would be high. The function of a NOT gate on the other hand is only and only to negate the input OR to produce an output that is exactly opposite the input. So if the input is high, the output of the NOT gate would be low. Which means if the input is 0, the output would be 1. If the input is 1, the output would be 0. Remembering the truth tables is very simple. For the output to be on or high, for the AND gate, all the inputs have to be high. For the OR gate, only one input needs to be high. And the NOT gate or NEGATE is only going to do the opposite of what the input is. One question that gets frequently asked is to draw the waveforms of pulses for given gates. For that, first let us write down the truth tables of both the gates. Let me just uh, mark the graph A, B are our inputs and and OR are our outputs. Marking dots to make sure that they are evenly spaced. Now I am drawing the signal waveforms exactly as the truth table guides me to. Wherever A is 0, as the signal is low, where A is high, the signal is high and the same goes with B. Maybe I can draw OR table here itself. So an AND signal is high or 1 only when both the signals are high or 1. So as you can see, the AND signal is low even when one of the signals is low. So only when both the signals A and B are high, then the AND signal is also high. Coming to OR signal, it is only low when both the signals are low. Everywhere else, even if one of the signals is high, then the OR signal is going to be high. Now let us have a look at the symbolic representation of the three gates. An AND gate is clearly represented by a flat 
um, input end and a curved output end. Be sure to make the output end curved, otherwise it can be mistaken for an invert gate. The OR gate on the other hand has a concave shape on the input side and a projecting shape on the output side. The output side is slightly pointed, not completely pointed. Be sure of that. And the NOT gate is simply a triangle with a bubble on the output end. We will talk about the importance of this bubble in the future lectures. So the basic function of NOT gate as you understand is basically inversion, just inversion. And the bubble has something to do with that. Well, I hope you found this video informative. Thanks for watching. And if you have an exam coming up, I wish you all the very best. Thank you.